This is a user menu video for the Retro 2.0 Monroe bike. This video would explain how to use your new bike, the functions, the, how to charge the battery, and how to put the batteries in and so on. All right, to get to bike, to get the bike to start, you must, if you can see it in the video, there's a lock button, a unlock button, and an alarm button, and a lightning button. That lightning button is the auto start. So if you want to start the bike without, without using the uh, function on the uh, handlebars, you just press the lightning button button twice. First, you have to unlock the bike and then press the lightning button two times. Then that'll turn your bike on. Then if you're turning it on this way, you can also turn it off uh, with the lower button here. And turn it back on that way too. So the lower button, there's three buttons right here. This is your light button. And you see the lights on the display. This button up here is the sport mode. You'll see the S come up. That's for going faster. Without it, it's going slower. This is your battery indic indicator. The other lines doesn't do anything. It's just, uh, you know, just showing for one battery, but they got a display for if one of their other bikes had like four batteries in it, which this doesn't. And on this side, you have your signal lights. Your horn. This button right here has no functions. It's just a, like I said, some of these uh, components, they're used for multiple bikes that may have other functions, but that button does nothing on this bike. Now you have your off button, which is your lock button. You must turn your bike off first. Then if you push the lock button, that will arm your alarm. This will show you the alarm. You press the lock button. And that will arm your bike. And it'll make it where you can't roll it. And with this arm, you would just have to press the unlock button. Your throttle to thrust the bike will be here. And the one tricky part with loading the batteries on this bike, to access your batteries, there's a little rubber grommet that would cover the keyhole. Remove that, put the key in. This, is, this side right here is for spare battery. This is where the battery goes on this side. This side sometimes can get a little jammed because the battery is in there, so you may have to pull on it. It's hard to do with one hand. So that's where your battery goes. But the important part of loading your battery is this battery Kind of wedges itself in there so when you place the battery in this compartment this is the most important part you have to push it down on the uh the little circle port that's in there but to be able to close this door you must push the battery into up against the case like that first very important push the battery up against the case then you can fold, fold it close and the same as this this side is just house a spare battery but housing a spare battery it doesn't activate your battery it's just if you have two batteries you store your second one over there and then when that one the battery runs down you just switch sides charging the bike you can either take the battery out of the bike and put it on a charger or you have a charging port right underneath the, the fake gas tank. 
So right here, you'll see a little plug. And you just pull that plug out and that's your charging port for your battery. Or just take the battery out. This grommet goes back on here. Take the battery out and you have a charging port. This is your charger. Just place the battery in there and to the red light on that black charger turns green, then your battery is fully charged. This bike also has a directional signal on back. So that would light up and you have directional signals in front. And this bike also can pedal pretty well. If you don't use your electric, you can get exercise with pedaling on the bike. And it also have disc brakes. So these right here, these are just uh, mineral oil, which is like it's brake fluid. You shouldn't have to ever mess with that. That's only if you burn your brakes out so bad that the brake pads comes out of the sockets and then it'll start, you know, spitting out um, the brake fluid, which you should never get to that point. Because at that point, you should hear your brakes starting to, to scrape up against your, your brake rotors. And that's how you operate the bike. These are just your foot pegs. If you wanna, you know, use the foot pegs instead of putting your feet on the pedals. And that's how you operate the, Mon the retro Monroe bike 2.0.